Welcome to the Zoom how-to tutorial for iPads. So the first thing we're going to do is open our iPads and go into the App Store. In the App Store, you're going to go up to the search bar and search for Zoom. Now it is this first Zoom Cloud Meetings here at the top. We're going to download it like that. It might take a couple moments to download, but once it is, we're going to go ahead and open it. So once it's open, it's going to ask us to join a meeting or to sign up or sign in. If you have an existing account, you could sign in, but for the purpose of today's video, we're going to sign up. So we're going to ask to be put, to put in a birth date. I'm just going to put in a random birth date here and press confirm. Then we enter our email address. And then we're going to enter our first name and last name. So it's going to show you this email. They have sent a confirmation email to your email and you want to close that and then go into your emails to see that. So see here, we have the Zoom activation email. We're going to click on that, and then we're going to click Activate Account. So we're going to open the link like this, and it'll bring us to this page here. Here we can create a password for our account. Here it shows us all the password must-haves so that the password is safe and secure. Once we're done, we'll press continue. And I don't want to save my password, so I'll click that. Um, this here is an option to invite others to your Zoom account. I'm just going to click skip this step. I'm going to exit the web browser and I'm going to go into my Zoom app here. And now I'll be able to sign in. Okay, so we're going to enter our email and our password and then we're going to click sign in. So this just lets them access your calendar. So if you have any Zoom meetings coming up, it'll put it in your calendar for easy reminder. I'm going to click OK. Um, would like to use Siri, so this could easily start a call on Zoom. So I'm going to press OK. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, I'm going to allow it to send notifications. And this asks if you would like it to save the password. I'm going to save my password because I tend to forget it. So. I'm going to click no to that. And here is what the app looks like. So you can start a new meeting. You could join a meeting. You could view chats and you could view upcoming meetings and you can also view your contacts. And that is how to get the Zoom app started on an iPad.